hey guys welcome back to another day of the vlog guys i am with valissa she is new on youtube better subscribe to her channel i will drop everything every 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 everything she's dropping content on content on my arrival she just gifted me this a box for my birthday she also has so what do you call it she has this company called balisa kechani creative designs she sells a lot of homeware stuff and all of that but i don't know if she wants to tell you more no. about it you look so pretty do you know my lighting sis do you know the quality of my videos okay guys um, um basically we sell um kitchenware homeware home deco that's just about it um i'll give you the link mm -hmm. so you can link it down below and everyone can just go to the website and shop pretty much affordable homeware guys i yeah. promise you yeah i also need to shop before i leave actually yeah. like actually. affordable affordable actually. affordable homeware please really remind me it. please remind me <laughs> i need to shop before i leave uh but yeah uh I'm traveling with a lot of stuff, so I'll just courier this to myself and we will unbox on my next vlog. Stay tuned. Anyway, so she's, yeah, I told you, hosting me for some sit down for her content. Yes. She's gonna make a fruit platter right now and then we're gonna get into the chit chatties. So, are we drinking alcohol? Yes, doll. I have some leftover um, fucking oh, ice cream pairs. Awesome. Then we have um, some tequila, some mm. amarula, mm. some gin, some Jaeger. Mm. We'll decide which one we. Um, Is that for the sit down? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So for now, this is a welcome Thank drink. You. There's your straw. Thank you. Cheers, Kuleonza. Okay, we are talking all things relationship, right? Uh, yes. Um, I just talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, not only you, but like we are talking all things relationship. So my question to you is that: When did you start YouTube? What was your reason for that? Okay. 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 So <laughs> Okay, so when did I start yeah. YouTube? How long I've been on YouTube? Yes, how and long why? and why? What was the reason for you? To okay, start so page? I started YouTube. I remember it was when I had a branch in September, like my first big branch, okay. which was two years ago. So two years ago, I've been on YouTube. One year, it's up. I'm two years next month. Oh. Oh, so it's almost two years. It's now. almost okay. literally next month. I'm two years on YouTube. Okay. Why did I start? Okay. Initially, my friends and people around me, I've always liked taking videos. Okay. So they were like, oh, I just got a YouTube channel. But I was like, no, no, no. Who am I? No, who's going to watch I me? Know. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not interesting. And then uh, when Instagram introduced what they call, remember highlights? Yeah, yeah. I used to, I used to, I take a lot of stories. Okay. So I used to like put my stories on my highlights, uh -huh. but then my highlights would get filled up, meaning I have a lot you of content. Exceeded. I, I would exceed like hundred, oh and then I'd God. open like if I had like nail cam, yeah, I would have more than hundred nail videos, and then Jeez. I'd have to open like a nail cam too. Okay. Then I thought, okay, um, YouTube sort of gives you allowance for bigger content yeah then i was like ah let me just do it then i happened to have the brunch just after i decided to do it and then queen I of did. brunches queen of brunches period so since now we are talking relationships no when did you start your youtube channel oh you want to know about what? me i thought it's about you no. <laughs> okay now i'm a month old mm. <laughs> I'm a month old. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, honey. So I'm a month old, and I think my reasons are the same as you. Mm -hmm. But personally, I feel it was just more to give uh, my business some exposure. Mm -hmm. Because since I enjoy like taking content and videos, someone was like, you know what? Venture into YouTube. So someone it also suggested. So you didn't wake up and you're like. No, YouTube. no, people around you are like, you know what, you love taking content, mm -hmm. you like at least get paid for it. Yeah. If even if your business doesn't make it, but at least you know that you've started a brand on YouTube. 
and you can just continue with it. I'm like, you know what, actually, you guys have a point. Yeah. But I also had questions like, ah, who's gonna watch me? I'm a nobody, I'm not an influencer. Mm -hmm. You need to have a great following on socials for mm -hmm. you to, for people to actually mm -hmm. take you serious, you know, stuff like that. And then one day, I think on my birthday this year, I took videos, I took, I made videos, I took content, I took content. And I was just so lazy to make a reel. And I was like, no, actually, I'm not going to make a reel. Sometimes the content is too much. Yeah, I think it was a lot. So I was like, no, okay, let me actually try um, editing and see if I can fit this into a YouTube channel. And I did that. And then we are here today. So it wasn't a matter of, I'm going to start, I'm going to start, I'm going to start. It was for months. I mean, I think I created, I opened my channel 20... 22 that i only started mm. because i was watching mm. other youtubers mm. but on my channel i started posting this year which is 2023 on the i think it was the 19th or 22nd of june you must know when your birthday was girl no i'm saying the posting oh. my birthday is on the 19th but remember the 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 content was taken on my actual birthday oh yes. but okay. then i was very should i upload it should i not should i upload my sister like you know what bring your phone i'll do it so okay. i think my sister gave me the confidence to actually do it like come on man like you've got nothing to lose whether it works or it doesn't work at least you tried yeah. so yeah so that's the story behind the story. these two youtubers <laughs> did you have another question after that oh yeah i'm saying since we are talking relationships mm -hmm. Are you currently in a relationship? Can you not see this glow? <laughs> <laughs> does not does this not look like a girlfriend face? I think it does. I am in a relationship. Um, any chance? Um, are we are we ever gonna see a boyfriend on this channel, or do you prefer dating privately, not secretly but privately? Privately, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there is a difference. With this relationship in particular, it's yeah. very new. Like my relationship is like new, 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 fresh out of the box. Like hey, that's why you have this new, glow. New, exactly. <laughs> I don't. I think I'm gonna keep it private for the first time in my life. I'm gonna keep a relationship private. Yeah. And it's not because my partner doesn't want to be on the channel or something, but I just feel like. Actually, let me leave this here. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. privacy has. That little bit of mystery. Yeah. Why am I telling them that you'll never see him? You see now I'm yeah. breaking the whole mysterious thing. But mm -hmm. yeah, no, I don't think you'll ever see my baby. Okay, that's I don't know if I'll say that's sad, but I share the same sentiments. I would rather keep my partner um, off. But we've seen your partner already. Yeah, that's because it's not a secret. Yeah. If you are on Instagram, you'll see him. No, like, have you not seen your partner on YouTube? Only once. But a little bit. Just, 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 just if you know him, you know him. Yes. If, if you, you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you know, good for you. But mm. for those who don't know, I won't be. Um, unless you, pr I probably change but my you, mind. You asked your partner to the one time you were cooking. You were like. Do you want to explain? He's shy. And I wasn't even going to show his face. Oh. I just wanted him to explain. I was like, no, bigger. He's very shy. Oh, I thought you wanted him to know. No, 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 no. He's like, no, 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 no. He's very okay. shy. That's so cute. he didn't want to talk. So I was like, okay, That's cute. I'll speak on his behalf. Okay, so, so you're okay with that? That's your choice anyway. Yeah, that's your decision. Yeah, I mean, this channel is not really about um Jolo and stuff. It's literally about me. Probably later stage, maybe when I have a ring on. <laughs> <laughs> when I have the ring on, I'll probably do a, you know, content, mm. boyfriend or girlfriend content or mm. couples content. But mm. for now... Oh, yeah, yeah. Now. So you're not about couples content yet. No. Yeah. No. But it makes sense. I mean, even for people that do show their boyfriends, I also feel like, is your boyfriend part of the YouTube, of the channel? If they're part of it, then it makes sense. But if they not, then... But I mean, you know what? Actually, we show our siblings, our sisters. So it should be the same. But unfortunately, I still yeah, stick by. And besides that, with, with boyfriends, man, ish, 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 it's a tricky one. I'm not saying it's that's the case with me. But, you know, um, I don't like showing my boyfriends, man. What if... I'm not saying it's not going to last, guys. I've been seeing this man for three years. <laughs> so... I'm saying, um, 
you have this question like now people have know your partner from youtube and then you guys split you guys break up i wouldn't care my past relationship was very public well, no that, true that's why i took a decision yes, that i, I think, don't yes, want yes, to i think sometimes you want to do things differently yes. so there's no a specific reason why we want to keep them private it's just no i just want to do live things different yeah, yeah. yeah. let me try it this way and see how it goes mm, yeah so no that makes sense definitely keeping him out of the socials all right so um, future here that you'll just hear his voices now he's a mystery man i'm not even gonna say his name that's how mysterious oh he God. is <laughs> do i even know your partner's name <laughs> because i never tell anyone <laughs> I, don't. I also wouldn't I, yeah, I wouldn't tell you guys my partner's name yeah it's just so baby. that's just that um are we sitting here let's go outside let's go outside man. okay guys we are going outside we'll check you guys later in a minute hey this is our platter thank you balissa you really it tried looks... no it looks nice <laughs> it looks nice it looks nice this is such a nice what day is it today Wednesday is the thing. Wednesday is Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> it's right. a Tuesday. Um, Tuesday is the So, yeah, I've got a few questions for Miss Modisha. And yourself. And myself, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I created a questionnaire for us. And then we can just chill while we have our food. Enjoying our, what time of it? Midday drinks. Oh, is it one? Oh, yeah, it's one o'clock. So, um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, guys, like I said, did I introduce you to my people? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> you didn't uh, know. Yeah, so, okay. Hi, guys. Um, welcome back to yet another video. We have a visitor in our channel. She goes by the name of Mo uh, Bonolo Mudisha and yeah we are collaborating and we are speaking all things relationships so yeah guys stay tuned yeah it's gonna be fun okay so i do have some questions for both of us that i've created so yeah let's just not waste any time and get into it sure um, we have covered a youtuber versus um a private partner mm -hmm. right um now we are going to cover heartbreak <laughs> it's like I knew it was like based on my heart just skeezy. <laughs> so we are going to have a hard break now. Mm -hmm. So the first question would be: Have you ever been heartbroken? Who hasn't? Get that? I have, I have, I have. And um, what happened? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Okay, so. I'm trying to think if I've, I've had one heartbreak, one severe heartbreak, maybe two that came after the severe heartbreak. So they don't even, they don't oh, okay. they were very really strong at that time. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So what happened? I need to like go back, go mm. back. It was quite a while ago. I could say seven years ago. Yes. Okay. Is it a long time ago? It is. But time flies, eh? Yeah, time flies. It was seven years ago, uh, and it was with my baby's father. <laughs> Did I shocker. know it's him? Shocker, shocker, <laughs> shocker. But you know, the funny thing is actually, it wasn't a heartbreak. Like, like this person deliberately hurt you. Okay. It was more of I was heartbroken because things didn't work out. Oh. Yeah, so it's not, oh, I hate him, he hurt me. Oh, no, 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 it's heartbreak from the relationship not being successful. But yeah, man, we were young. We met when we were fairly young. Oh, we were so in love. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. were so in love. Oh, gosh. A lot of people somehow will, or a lot of conversations will get me talking about this heartbreak. Funny, but it was because we were so it was a public relationship, okay. and we were like inseparable. Like mm -hmm. if you see him, you see me. If you see me, you see him. You know, 
Um, I remember literally the past Sunday, I was with my friend Noni and my sister at the car wash in Maloney. Mm -hmm. That new car wash. No, that's actually my brother-in-law's in car wash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because he was there. <laughs> yeah, so we went there. I was, I was there for the yeah. first time. Mm -hmm. Planta wanted to wash her car. Mm -hmm. And we actually, like, we always speak about this one time in my life. And I remember my friend Noni saying, yo, I didn't think you were going to come out of it. I'm like, I know. I'm like, a lot of people were yeah, like, you guys must have been so in love. <laughs> uh, everyone is, was on some, yo, uh -uh, we didn't think. I was really heartbroken to a point where my grandmother was still alive and she would come in my room and like comfort me. And be, all I did was cry. My goodness. If you see me, you just see tears. My friends would take me out, let's go party, let's go. I would be chilling with a nigga, telling them how heartbroken I am. But like, couldn't you guys find like a way, since you guys knew you actually uh, loved one another, to just mend things? My one thing that I subconsciously had from a while back, which I now am aware of, is that I don't like toxicity. Oh. So it doesn't matter how much I love you, oh, you love no. me, or, mm -hmm. but if, if I ever get to a point where I feel like this is yeah. toxic, yeah. and toxic is making people uncomfortable, like if we're together and mm -hmm. people are uncomfortable, mm -hmm. that is a no-no. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those things, no man, it was like a lot happened, I fell pregnant, and when I fell pregnant, obviously the dynamics change. Mm -hmm. I have to stay home he's going out and i'm just always used to going up with him yeah, yeah. so i'm like wanting to be there and pregnant as i was you know and everyone is like no you can't do that and i think at some point he looked at me like you're not okay crazy. yeah <laughs> and after that they started well yeah he just started like i felt excluding me from certain things yeah. and that drove me crazy yeah. No, it was it was wild. It was wild. I would legit call him and he doesn't pick up and I get into my car and I I hunt him down. My, no, okay, now I get the toxic way. Yeah, so it was never about. gonna work. After yeah. that it was never gonna work. I was also not myself anymore and when I sat back I was like, actually no. Can I just come back to myself? Yeah, so yeah, things would have never worked out. See you? With me. Have you ever been heartbroken before? Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, but it, it's with someone I met when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. It was a 12-year relationship. Are you serious? Oh, no. Mine wasn't even that long. <laughs> that was a long time. We dated. I, I, I literally say 10 years because the other two years, it was okay. just fight after fight oh, after no. fight. Mm -hmm. Um, infidelities, oh. majority of um, our fights were about infidelities, obviously. Mm -hmm. And with me, I can tolerate anything from a man. Mm -hmm. Just not that. I find it very disrespectful. I mean, look at me. Why wouldn't you think this is enough? <laughs> oh, so, no. so, yeah, it was just a lot of infidelities. And, you know, you forgive him once. He oh, my apologizes. Word. He does it again. So this one time, um, when I, I think I left the relationship while I was still in it. Very common with a lot of women. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I left the relationship while I was still in it because what actually made me leave, he impregnated someone while we are still dating. No, that you, you had no choice but to leave. <laughs> no, trust you me, I wanted no. to... I wanted to be in that relationship even after mm -hmm. that. She man. Trust me, I wanted to be in that relationship. I wanted to forgive him. Oh, he effed But up. then I like, you know what? No, man, you need to love yourself. Come on now. Oh, this person no, has man. done this with this girl. There's just too many things. When you yeah. when I look at the um, occasions this man cheated on me. I was like, no, man. Oh my word. So yeah, I, I I just chose me, you know, as much as I loved him. And even when I wanted to forgive him, he still did things that would drive me away from him. So, like, I, I don't know whether he cared. Honestly, I, yeah. But yeah, the, the, the last draw when I said, you know, enough is enough was when he impregnated. Oh and God. me finding out that he has actually been in the in the in a relationship with that person for three to four years. How do I know? I know. I know. This girl.
girl knew me, I didn't know her. So she was like, I will see who's gonna win. And she won him. I just like, you know what? Have the man. I mean, you guys now have a child together. So that is wild. Yeah, it was very toxic and yeah. I can imagine what the cheating did to you. Hey. A monster. That's why after him, I started dating again. A guy who was asking me for the longest time. I was like, oh, okay, this one, I, it's okay. time. Let me just try. But I feel like I was so toxic to this guy because mm -hmm. I was always checking out where he is. Mm -hmm. I was always calling him. I was so insecure. Mm -hmm. And it was really, really not nice on him because mm -hmm. now I'm taking my previous patterns. Mm -hmm. Now I'm bringing them to the new relationship. Mm -hmm. I stayed single and then I met my now partner. Ouch. <laughs> it is wild. So it's wild. Like relationships are gonna kill us. Oh, that's a long time. Twelve months is, is a long time. Yeah. So I think um okay we covered was it multiple breakups because with me it's just one. Okay. I'd say I'd say one as well. I'd say one. Okay. So yeah, yeah. were you ashamed to um share your story? Did it somehow dent your self-esteem? How did you let go? I think I've covered those things. So. With you? Yeah. Okay, with you. Mm. Um, did it, uh, was I ashamed to share my story? No. With you? The way I was, I was, now I was a mess. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was a mess. At work, I was still in school then. At school, like if you come and talk to me and you ask me, are you fine? I literally cry. And then I tell you about it. So I was definitely not ashamed that everybody probably, everyone who knew me knew my story about yeah. that relationship. Did it dent me? No, actually it like polished me. Okay. <laughs> like <laughs> when I was like, okay, it's done. It's chai. You know, it's it's over. No, I, I believe I just started just flourishing, yeah. blossoming. I was happy with, obviously it took a while though. Yeah because i personally didn't date for like six months after that breakup and then i got with a guy that wanted me for like a long mm -hmm. time sure. those but, ones they suffer the most but when i got with him i knew that it was a rebound yeah so i wasn't thinking long term yeah. but he was he was like really good to me i was also good i i i i, I don't think i was damaged from that relationship i wasn't like i'm saying he i wasn't hurt because he hurt me. I yeah. was hurt that it didn't work, work out. out. So he didn't do like things that made me hate men, despise Ooh. men. No. Funny enough, yes, when you're talking about hate men, I did not hate men because after that, I think I stayed nine months single, still trying to figure out so what do I want to do next. And um, I feel I was so unfair to this guy. Who I, whom I dated after mm. my toxic relationship because I could see that this man really loves me but for me it's a rebound you know mm. it's, I'm not entirely there partly I'm still in my previous relationship I'm still hopeful so yeah it, it, it didn't really dent me but obviously like I said I was so insecure because I would I was thinking that why so why is he so good to me? Like it felt so good mm. to be true that I actually ruined it. Mm. I ruined it for myself because I was like, no, uh uh, he's too good to be true. And he was genuinely like just too good for me. Mm. Like he he really loved me. Mm. I was ashamed to tell my story. No one knew, darling. No one Are you serious? knew. I'm not open about a lot of things. What you see on social media is what I want you to see. Mm. I'm very like literally i'm a person that builds a wall with everything i have a wall of hype but i've learned through the years that that's not healthy that's not right you can't do that you need to talk mm. there are a lot when i met other people i there are people who have the same story as mm. me i was like okay so i sat in depression mode without telling anyone your friends no one your sister no body i suffered in silence <laughs> I suffered in silence up until um, I told my little sister because I mean she can see that this person is no longer around I mean so they had you know, <laughs> so what's going they on had to put the pieces yes. first. they had to put up the pieces first until I one day broke 
in front of my sister and then I literally told her what happened. It's like, Balisa, like I can see, like you're not okay. I mean, okay, I didn't live at home at that time. So they hardly saw me, but when I'm visiting at home, obviously they can see that now nah, I'm something is not right because I was in varsity. Mm. Something is not right with this one. So until I opened up to my sister and then she was like, Sana. She met up you with him so and she wanted to beat him up. <laughs> I think one of the reasons we don't want to involve our friends and families is because should you decide to forgive them, the family still holds a grudge. I think of that's why I didn't sorts. tell anyone because low key, I was hopeful. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was, I was still. You know, ooh, I was hopeful that we would actually yeah. fix things, but yeah. yeah. That I chose myself. I was like, no, mm. is this the person that I would really mm. want to for the, to be with the rest of my life? And I kept getting no's, no's, no's in my mm. intro um, section. So I was like, Anna, I need to let this go. And that was peace. That was all. I'm out. I'm out. So yeah, we have covered heartbreak. Now we are going to talk about um, mental health. How did this affect you mentally? Did you shade with anyone? Did you seek any professional help? What do you How mean shade? Did you shade? Oh, shade. shade. Oh, so okay. we've also covered that. So yeah, so how did it affect you mentally? Did you seek professional help? Yeah, how did you maneuver your way to being yourself again? Like, did you seek help? Oh, I didn't seek help. Um, I was 10 to, and funny, he was the one referring me to psychological help from mm -hmm. his workplace but I, you know what um i did nursing so i did psychology as well okay. i understood very well the stages of grief okay. and i felt like okay that's why i'm very like i i pay attention to my emotions i label yeah. my emotions i act according to my emotions so i knew well, i'm gonna cry 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 and then after some time you know it's just gonna be over but I didn't need, I didn't seek medical help. What I did was, cause after my, the relationship that I got into after him, I knew it was a rebound. So I knew it's not, I felt yeah. like I was wasting my time yeah. and I'm wasting this poor guy's time Sorry, because yeah. he also really takes interest in me. He yeah. likes me, da, 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 da. So I was, I was like, no, I'm just gonna pull away from that. And then little things, I did like stupid things really. Like I stopped watching love movies romance i stopped listening to romantic songs yeah. i literally just went on a i don't know what to call it but for like a year mm -hmm. so then i didn't date for a year mm -hmm. and i told myself i'm just gonna invest in myself yeah. i'm gonna start taking interest in the things that i like solely oh actually i did things like i stopped frequenting the places that we would go to together yeah. I actually stopped being friends with the people that were even my friends before him, but mm -hmm. because we ended up sharing mutual friends. Yeah. I stopped being friends with all of those people. I stopped attending all the stuff that they used to do. Yeah. And then, yeah, basically seclusion. Eh? I yeah. secluded myself from the real world. Okay, I think I did more or less the same. However, my mom, I felt like after my family knowing what I was going through, I feel, I felt like I was reliving and I was mm. almost there in the healing process, mm. you know. So now that they know, they knew, they had questions, what happened, what did you do? Now I'm reliving again because now I have to tell the story again. And that's more you heal. Well, it did help. <laughs> it did help because I, 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 I didn't believe in crying. I was like, you know, a boss. Like, no, <laughs> big girls don't cry. I was in that, like, no, don't cry, but listen, man. Ah, you're beautiful, man. You you probably meet someone equally who thinks you are special, who treats you well, who, who understands your worth. So this one is gone, let it go. So with seeking professional help, my mom suggested it. I think I went for one session and I did not like it. Mm -hmm. Honestly speaking, I did not like it, but if someone were to ask me now i honestly would advise if you are going through some sort of grief or anything in your life if you can afford a therapist a psychologist please do go mm -hmm. go i didn't see the need of it then but when i look at what my mom wanted for me now i understand why i had to seek medical help mm -hmm. but yeah i didn't really go on depression mode but like i wasn't really really myself i'm usually a barbie person 
but that time you can see that no something is shaking her up i think something it's just like her up. deeper sadness yes like literally when um my colleagues would see that you are no longer yourself man like is everything okay i think my sadness was just there it was just visible because i'm usually a person that talks too much i'm usually a person that's bubbly so just coming to work i just work i just want to leave when i get home i get home friday i only get out on monday when i'm going to work that's when i knew that no that's not life yeah something is not right but yeah okay guys i am making ubunolo a drink i want her to fly out of this estate mm -hmm. so i'm making her one of my signature cocktails so we have syrup we have some tequila mm. some lime and some Red Bull to give her wits. Hmm. So let's get into it. I've already sliced um, lemon. I'm going to put um, some frozen blueberries. Right. And then um, the glasses are for from TK Creative Designs. My guys. Love Which them. one should I start with? Alcohol or lime? I don't know. Let me start with alcohol. A shot of um, some Ciroc. Isn't that like a double shot? It is actually. <laughs> that one is yours. <laughs> I'm gonna have for that. But you are home. <laughs> hey, this girl. Hey, but, now. but you're not driving. But you are home. <laughs> and then some tequila. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put half of it because this is very strong. I'm used to it. Nah, I'm a margarita girl. Okay, I also love margaritas. <laughs> if I had ice, then we were going to make margaritas. Hey. Which one is yours? Hey! This one is yours. No. I don't remember now. The first one is mine. It's fine. We'll have the same amount of alcohol. alcohol. And then I'm going to have some lime. Okay, usually I don't measure this, guys. I use my heart. Okay. Hard measurements. Then I'll know if it's enough or not. Ne? Mm -hmm. And then just we must like taste the bitterness of the tequila. Then Red Bull Red gives Bull. you wings. Um, and then what do you call your drink? Let's give it a name. Let's both give it a name. I don't have a name for my drink, guys, really. And I make this all the time. I, without, I'm shocked. I'm without shocked. The, the alcohol, though, it's usually a mocktail. Really? Yes, I make it without the alcohol. So what can we... Huh. What's today's topic again? Relationship. Relationship. But my drink is not so toxic at all. Mm -mm. It is. It has alcohol, so <laughs> definitely. Um... Okay, let's think about it and then Yo, ah, uh, ah, uh, guys, I don't know I really don't know And I never really give my dream you should. names You should I thought you already had one That's fine Okay, but look how gorgeous these glasses are They are Can't wait to sip, 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 sip Okay, please taste And let us know I'm gonna do the big taste Are you sure we don't need to stare it? No Bunol is about to taste. Oh, it smells so strong. <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? <laughs> it's actually nice, hey? This can get you effed up, like. Yeah. Like, you just want to drink, drink, drink. I think drink, it's the Red Bull and the Lime. Drink. Definitely the Red Bull. Then you can still taste the alcohol. Like it's got like a zing, but mm. it's well balanced, you know? It's not like, you know, sometimes when you take alcohol, you like, you can feel, you like. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Red Bull mostly. Red Bull does it for this drink. Yo, this one, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Please, when you get to Cape Town, we ate it. <laughs> So we'll figure out a name here for um, our cocktail. Okay, let's get back to it. Let's go. Cheers. Ching, ching. And we are back, guys. Um, we still need to cover self-care. 
and um, healthy relationships. So with self-care, how do you define self-care as Ubunolo? Ooh, child. Isn't it just basically taking care of yourself? Yeah, but like your own definition. Okay, maybe let me just put it this way. How do you practice self-care? Self okay, my self-care, that's a difficult one if you my self-care is going out. <laughs> I love, love, love going out. Like, I will pick a nice restaurant, look pretty, from like picking my outfit, doing my face, making sure my hair is nice, I smell good, and then I'll go out. I'm not a homebody, so I wouldn't say I don't even do self care Sundays and all those things. So it involves, I would say, self care for me is going out to a really, really nice place. Yeah, as opposed to me, I'm a homebody. <laughs> I will sit in the house. Like, yo, I love being indoors so much. Um, so self-care for me would be making like um, my favorite meals. I love cooking. I love being in the kitchen. So that's very therapeutic for me. I'm that girl wadi hot bath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love taking hot showers as well. As weird, as weird as it may sound, I find cleaning therapeutic. So I'm the, yes, I guess I'm very domesticated in that guys. So yes, I find cleaning therapeutic. I listen to my favorite jams. I would literally put on a playlist and just cook or I just clean or I just relax and watch my favorite YouTubers. No, so, I can't even listen to music at my house. You can't. Like if someone sends me, my sister sends me songs, like yeah. the latest songs, I have to be in the car to listen to music and say this song is nice. Also, okay, if for me also self care is driving long distance. Yeah. The same thing, I mean, like I would drive to, if I know there's a there's a Woolies here, I'd rather opt to go to a further Woolies because now I have to listen to this jam. Yeah, I enjoy that. my car concerts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's also self care. But yeah, but being indoors for me is self-care. Okay. Yeah. The less I interact with human beings, the, the, the better. And you have such nice interactive personalities. So it's like, <laughs> no! Why are you keeping that all to yourself? The but... less, the better. <laughs> no, uh-uh. Guys, uh, uh Okay, next question. Okay. The next question would be, how did you find healing? But we've already... um. Um, covered that what did you do to make sure you are kinder to yourself no we've covered that any tips for anyone who's watching on how to really take care of yourself and you know how to deal with grief yeah i think understand that the there's certain people that come for a certain period or time in your life uh it's not bad when people walk away out of your life or you walk away out of people's lives yeah. if it was written in the stars it was written in the stars if you're meant if someone is meant to be in your life for a lifetime then they will be yeah, don't be hard on yourself be 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 willing to let go yeah i would say that and if it didn't work out don't blame yourself it didn't work out because it was not meant to work out yeah i think that's yeah that's the advice that i can give uh, guys, just to add on that, I uh, share the same sentiments. Um, just invest in yourself, man. Like, so that when someone leaves, you are still yourself. You're still okay. You're still balisa. So yeah, I would just honestly say, invest in yourself. Whether there's someone in your life and there's there's um or the someone walked out of your life, you are still the same person. No one leaves with a certain part of you. So yeah, just that's true. Yeah, invest in yourself. That's like, true. Yeah. Yep. Then we are going to talk about healthy relationships. You and I are both in in a relationship, mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't talk about healthy relationships. I think we we are always saying um, men are dogs. Ah, like honestly, honestly, I've never had a sit down or speak to someone whereby they express how their relationship is healing them it's always ah men are dogs oh he came back late oh he cheated on me but no one expresses how good good being in a good rela or healthy relationship is so that's what we are going to discuss for closing i chose this for closing because 
I just think it's wholesome, man. Mm. To, to talk about it. Come into move from the darkness. Yes, from the two lights. Yes. Okay, so um what's your definition of healthy relationship? Uh healthy relationships. How is your relationship with your partner and what are you grateful for? <sighs> okay. <laughs> you know mine is gonna be difficult. <laughs> Because it's new. Mine is going to be difficult because I'm in a new relationship. But I can say that I think it's healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, for what reasons, my man gives me, brings me peace. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a healthy relationship for me is having sort of like that safe space. Yeah. Having someone feel like home. Mm -hmm. If something upsets you and you're just like, oh, I'm so done with this day. Mm -hmm. You just want to go to your partner. Um, how has what? How has my relationship been, been with your current partner? Yeah. With my, it's been really good. And coming back to advice that I would give: don't think your previous toxic relationship. Uh, let don't let it have an impact on or cloud your judgment on your next yes. relationship. People are different. Yeah, you know, people are different. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> nice especially for me i haven't been in like a serious relationship for the longest of time mm -hmm. and it's very nice and calming and just peaceful mm -hmm. to be with someone that i feel like they get me i get them they're interesting they find me interesting it's like an ongoing you know just interesting thing yeah and what are you grateful for in my relationship in my relationship you know what i've spent the most smallest things i mean i know it's uh, you but i'm sure there's little things that he As does and you're like oh <laughs> i mean he does a lot of things that i really like okay let me pinpoint let me pinpoint let me pinpoint <laughs> <laughs> look at you blushing on my word okay the little things like a person being considerate mm -hmm. of you of little things like how was your day for me it goes a long way mm -hmm. like we constantly ask each other are you good are you happy are you you know just in a good space i don't want to move it to material but like i think honestly like my boyfriend <laughs> plays a huge role when it comes to like material like i love going out mm -hmm. so he like takes me out all the time you know um yeah little things like i don't have to worry about the bill oh yes <laughs> like, yes please i don't even know <laughs> i don't even look you know and he doesn't even share oh this place was expensive yeah or, i spent this and that, that, that he just like he just provides he provides so yeah i guess i am grateful that my partner is a big provider yeah and yeah he's like very supportive as well like with my youtube taking content yeah, yeah like you said the little things so you're like um are you ready for your brunch did you do your hair did you do your nails do you need help with anything oh, yes. i think yeah of all things being supportive like he's very supportive yeah ah man it's, it's me again saying we share this <laughs> because i feel like a healthy relationship for me is yeah you having to be comfortable around someone you finding healing him bringing you peace you know um doing the most little things i i i mean i also didn't want to mention material things but it's nice I mean, for someone to think of you when they're in a store, they think, okay, he li she likes ice cream. Let me buy it for her without mm. me having to ask. Mm -hmm. I know she's a size six, and these shoes would really look great on my partner. Ah, baby man, look at your hair. Don't you think about changing your hairstyle? What someone thinking ahead of you, you know? So yeah, um, I mean, we all want a man who can, you know, pay a bill. I mean, as old as we are in our ages, we do want a man who's capable, um, who's able to provide for you. Yeah. So besides that, I mean, someone who is willing to spend time with you, someone who enjoys your company, yeah. who doesn't find you boring, who laughs at your stupid jokes. Yeah. And I love the fact that, I, you know, my partner is very, very private. And I'm on YouTube, I'm on social, I'm on Instagram. But the minute I say, babe, um, 
at first it was very awkward for me because I would literally ask for a picture and he didn't understand like why do you like taking so many pictures but as I got to introduce him on social media he was like oh okay you look nice today don't you want a picture Aww. you know babe let me take your picture without me having to ask so, I, I, I still need to give it. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate those things because with my previous relationship you would ask for a picture like I, I you're always taking pictures or don't include me in your videos with him when it's uh, when we have to sing along in a in a in a car when we are listening to music, he jams to it. He's the one. No, it's much lighter on my side. There's lighting on my side. Aye. Rather let me Aye. let me take Bro. a picture. So yeah, finding love has been very healing for me. I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it for myself. Yeah. But I'm glad that I re I removed all the. I think it's unconscious. This. It's like a cloud thing. I can see. I yes, can see. like I removed it from my lenses and I was able to see life like Katuna and who actually you know you are lovable actually mm. and there is someone who finds you interesting there's someone who finds you adorable mm. just bask in it mm. so yeah guys cheers to healthy relationships cheers to healthy relationships <laughs> <laughs> and guys it brings us to the end of this video Thank you so much for tuning in. I wish love and healthy relationships for everyone because guys, homonati, homonati, homonati. So yeah, we are out. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. We will catch you in separate next vlogs. Bye. Bye. <laughs>